illustrious overseas Filipino worker in Hong Kong and helped now iconic characters such as the long-lost crown princess of Yangdon, the titular protagonist of the Mara Claire remake, and the industrious overseas Filipino worker in Hong Kong and Hello, Love, Goodbye, she has proven time and again that she is more than worthy of her box office crown. Her star power is not limited to acting alone. Her radiant personality has amassed a following of 3.8 million subscribers on YouTube and a whopping 16.7 million on Instagram as of recording. She was even named Asia Pacific's most influential celebrity on social media back in 2020. Intrigued by the enigma that is Catherine Bernardo? In this episode of Preview 10, we get to know the silver screen siren a whole lot better number 10 she's a fitness junkie Kath may be one of the busiest ladies in the country but her health remains her utmost priority she always finds time for exercise and eating well even when on lockdown shoots she's not afraid to try various fitness programs and has even dabbled in badminton and skateboarding no wonder she's so felt number nine she's a doting fur mama Kath's a proud paw parent to her dogs pablo tala cloud snow summer and storm she even has an instagram account so for them. Not only does she let her fur baby sleep in her room, she even takes them along vacays and tapings. Snow, the Bichon Freeze gifted by Daniel Padilla for her 18th birthday, was even spotted cruising aboard a boat. Number eight, she enjoys watching Korean dramas. Who doesn't enjoy a good K-drama? We know Catherine does. She revealed that it's these shows that kept her company during lockdown shoots. Some of her favorites are Crash Landing on You, Descendants of the Sun, Goblin, and What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. Number seven, she has her own studio. Mama Min, aka Best Mom Ever, surprised Kath last year with her very own studio. It was constructed to further support her career aspirations. The aesthetic space was designed for commercial shoots, tutorials, gatherings, and even content development for her YouTube channel, Everyday Kath. Did you know that she plans to rent out her studio to other artists too? Sign us up! Number six, she loves to travel. Traveling is one of Catherine's favorite ways to enjoy a breather from her packed schedule. Her constant travel buddy, DJ of course, We've been to scenic Rome, magical Iceland, and breathtaking Barakai, among others. It's Japan, however, that snags the spot for the country she can't get enough of. She counts it as one of her all-time favorite places on the planet. They even took a short but sweet three-day trip to Tokyo together. Number five, she collects band-aids. You may know people who collect figurines, magnets, and a variety of other knickknacks, but Catherine is one of a kind. She collects band-aids. Not just your run-of-the-mill plasters, but adorable ones with cute designs. She keeps one in her travel bag at all times, just in case someone may need one. Number four, she's part of Juliet Squad. Kath found a circle for keeps in the star-studded clique, Juliet Squad. Their growing friend group includes DJ Sofia Andres and Gabby Garcia, among others. Together they hang out, travel, go camping, enjoy the best Halloween parties, and as their name suggests, even actor Joshua Garcia couldn't help but rave about them. He revealed that these friends saved him from loneliness. Number three, she's fond of organizing. Not many people know this, but Kath is meticulously organized. We got a glimpse of her superb organization skills when she showed viewers her basics for lockdown taping. She had kits and pouches for everything. Hygiene, makeup, first aid, name it, she's got it. This trait was also reflected in her recently refurbished kitchen. From labels to containers, every item had its own place. Number two, she almost became a fashion student. She claims that drawing is not one of her strong suits, that's why she didn't pursue it. It didn't stop her from expressing her passion for fashion though. Not only does the former teen queen regularly show off her impeccable style on social media, she's a bona fide accessory designer too. In case you didn't know, Catherine designed her own Greek evil eye necklace back in 2021. Number one. She's been in the industry for more than half her life. Kath has been in front of the camera for almost 19 years now. She made her acting debut as the young Gail Alonso on ABS-CBN's TV series, It Might Be You, and has top billed numerous blockbusters since. She even starred in the two highest grossing Filipino films of all time, Hello, Love, Goodbye, and The House of Us. The actress has definitely made a significant contribution to the industry, and we can't wait to see what else she has in store for us. For now, we'll be eagerly anticipating her return to primetime in Too Good To Be True and following her in social media. Love, Kath. Tell us which fun fact is your fave in the comments below. Until next time.